Hey, yo, hey, 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 hey. I hope everyone's having a great, great day. Uh, this is Executive Black. I'm back. Different look. I hope I'm not scaring anybody, but anyway. My Range Rover, I was a little bit afraid to talk about the Range Rover, but I'm actually not afraid to talk about this charger. No. I think uh, I never thought I'd get a charger, but you know what? As I mentioned earlier in my earlier video, months back when I got it, uh, I really didn't suspect that this vehicle, I liked it a lot, liked the feel, liked the way it drove, but uh, yeah, I haven't driven it that much, but when I do drive it, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy this thing, and this thing is great. Oh, by the way, shout out to Vanny, Vanny, Vanny. Love that Vanny. Isabella, Izzy, Izzy. Jordan, little man. Big boy, little boy. Um, anyway, uh, this is a 2017 Dodge Charger Scout Pack SRT. This thing is really loaded. It's got a 6.4 Hemi in it. You know, I've, it's got uh, six piston Brembos. As I mentioned earlier in my earlier video, some things that are going on with this thing. This has got a great look on it. Look at the back here. Nice exhaust pipes. And those have a great, great sound. Not sure if this had a muffler delete or not, but this car has a fantastic, fantastic sound. This is an awesome, awesome car, I must admit. Um, you know, this is not the Hellcat. Uh, I'm not really sure I need a Hellcat. It would only be for kind of a, as this car is, really just just because I enjoy cars. It's not that I need to, to be driving this thing every day because I don't. I don't really drive it hardly at all. But um, not as much as I'd like to because of the weather. So, because um, you don't want to drive this thing in the snow. I don't want it to get dented up because I'm doing something stupid. So, but this is a really a fantastic car. I must say I've been really, really uh, impressed by how it performs. The look of it, and let me tell you something. If you have the car, when you have a sports car, or any car that you love, you know the, one of the most things that car enthusiasts, people that love cars enjoy the most? You know what it is for me? Is the walk up. When I, when I, sometimes I like to park this car just a little bit away from everyone, just so I can walk up to it. You got, I mean, you gotta enjoy walking up to the car you bought, right? There's nothing better than that. Uh, I love walking up to this thing. Just like I love walking up to a Fisker that I had, S63, Corvettes, BMWs, Audis, Mercedes, plenty of Mercedes. Uh, Porsche was my all-time favorite, that Porsche Panamera. Um, Jeep SRT, I loved the, the SRT, I missed it. All those cars had great walk-up. I love when you walk up to your car and you just get to admire it. I'm not, I really don't care if other people admire it. Although, well, hold on. <laughs> you do care if other people admire it. I mean, let's just be honest. We do care about that. But I really, really enjoy uh, walking up to this car. It's got a great, great look on it. Actually, I see that I have SRT uh, tire caps that I've not put on there. I've got black, black SRT tire uh, stem caps that I need to put on there. Anyway, they're red. That's kind of, there's nothing else really red on this car except for that side marker. And by the way, I'm going to be replacing those side markers. So I, I'm going to show you real quick some things that I really enjoy. Again, this is the 2017 uh, Dodge Charger Scat Pack SRT. Let me show you a couple things. Let's show you the engine first, okay? Because this, this is what makes this car, gives it all the gusto. So let's show a little bit on the engine. All right. This thing's got that nice SRT engine, 6.4 Hemi in it. Uh, looks like I'm down some washer fluid, which I need ice washer fluid or, or um, de-icer in there. Yeah, it's like I'm a little 
little bit low on my antifreeze. But anyway, um, you know, this car is, let's say, fantastic. Uh, I love the way this thing feels and drives. Um, now, I'm going to be putting, I need to change the oil because uh, I really haven't driven it that much, but I may even put a thousand miles on it, but I'm still going to change the oil. And what I'm going to put in here is AMSOIL. Even though I know this is young uh, as a vehicle, I'm going to be putting AMSOIL in here. And for all my cars, I actually add a quart of Duralube in there because I want that engine to be clean. I want it to perform all the time. Uh, you got to make sure you take care of your engines. I've learned that early. The SRT, not sure exactly what happened to that car, but the engine blew, which it blew my mind when it blew because I babied that thing. As I baby all my cars, I try to make sure everything's taken care of. I always take care of anything that's maintenance wise right away. I'm not, I'm not the Johnny come lately person. So let me show you a little bit on the inside. As you can see, it's got the nice scat pack seating in there. That's actually Alcantara and leather seating. And it is actually really super comfortable. Uh, I was surprised because typically I just like leather seats. This has got the heated and cool seats in the front. And it's got the heated seats in the back. And then you have also uh, the, the uh, USB slots there. So you can obviously plug in if you have guests or if you have multiple devices and you don't have an adapter uh, then you'll probably want to plug back there but anyway this thing uh, just is a wonderful thing to drive here so let's let's click it on here and I'll show you some of the things that are going on in here all right so so this has the Performance controls show you that. So you have uh, you know, a super track, or actually go like this, and just show you a couple of things that it has that I really like. And boy, it's taking a while to load, but um, this does have kind of launch control. Here you have a lane keep or kind of a autonomous driving. You know, I've driven miles without even touching the steering wheel. Um, it works really, really well. You know, the AC, the heated and cooled seats, the heated steering wheel, which let me tell you something, when you got cold weather, having a heated steering wheel is an absolute must. Whatever you do, if you live in a cold climate, make sure you have heated seats, heated steering wheel, because I've learned a lesson on my Range Rover that does not have that, which, I still feel like an idiot because I should have made sure I had that, even though I really like that vehicle. But anyway, so let's look at a couple things. So uh, you have the timers that are on here, and I don't think I, I haven't done anything lately. Uh, so, uh, you know, no times to post. Uh, I do love to speed, uh, but I've got to make sure I keep my, uh, I don't want to get any tickets. And by the way, if you do get a ticket, it's a good idea to hire an attorney. I'll just leave it at that. So, uh, let's look at gauge one. You got oil temp here. You've got your coolant temperature. You have your oil pressure. Hopefully you can see that. And then on gauges two, you have your battery voltage. You have your intake uh, air temperature and your transmission temperature. And then it shows you the G-force. And then when it comes to your engine, it'll tell you the power, the torque, the oil pressure, and what gear you're in. So uh, it's pretty neat. And then when you get into the Super Track, just hit that button there for Super Track. Uh, it's got launch control here. Uh, you, you can different drive modes you can set up. We hit the sport mode. Uh, it tells you, you know, what type of um, mode you're in for your engine and transmission, for paddle shifting here, traction control, whether you're in sport or normal, and then also what type of steering. Are you in comfort, normal, or, or uh, sport? So pretty neat stuff there. Uh, in terms of some of the other things it has that I really like, uh, you know, the, the sport pages, you have Apple CarPlay, 
which is an absolute must. You've got, uh, I, I love Apple CarPlay. I think, I know there's an adapter for Android. I'm not sure exactly what that is, uh, but I'm sure that's great also. Um, and then you've got uh, from climate, media, heated steering wheel, app manager, and, and various different other apps on there that are pretty cool. You can drag, uh, you can drag these, these apps around too if you wanted to, which is kind of cool. Um, if you want to change some things around, of course, navigation, uh, so forth. But with Apple CarPlay, I use Waze. You know, shout out to Waze. I think that's a great system. I do like it, which I always use Google, but uh, Waze seems pretty good. Although I think it, uh, Google has, not, has had an update uh, where they're supposed to do some speed traps and whatever. So we'll check that out. Anyway, so um, the sound, you got the Beats sound there, which great sound system. Um, and then, you know, I changed the button here. Nice little purple SRT. Maybe I'll do the purple Brembos. Maybe I'll do purple hel uh, Halos, uh, which I think I'm, I, I want to do. If I can find someone to, to do those, I'll do them right away. Now, by the way, it's a much. Just like having to be doing the walk up, you got to have driving gloves. Have driving gloves. This thing's got the sunroof here. Got your sunglasses holders and cup holder here. Now I did add carbon fiber here. I'm gonna put carbon fiber uh, here. Change this whole piece out for car carbon fiber. Uh, change the steering wheel carbon, make this carbon fiber too. Uh, have an SRT emblem. And then put, uh, uh, you know, scat pack. It's not that I don't like scat pack. Um, you know, it's just, it, it, for, for me, it seems a little childlike to be able to have the Scat Pack emblem. No disrespect to anybody who wants that. I just would rather have SRT. I don't want to have an image of, even though I think these are cool that are gray and black. 